Now that the DVD labels have been designed and printed, it's time to place them on the DVDs themselves. I get the applicator, I remove the DVD label, being very careful not to bend it too much so it doesn't curl. And I carefully place it face down on the applicator. I push it down with my fingernails so that the, although I've washed my hands, I still don't want any oil from my hands to get on the back of the label. Then I take the DVD, there's the front, there's the back. I put it front side down or top side down. And then I take this disc that I that came with the uh, DVDs that I purchased and I use that so that I don't have to put my fingers on the back of the DVD. Then I press down quickly, remove it from the applicator, and just to make sure that it uh, adhered well to the DVD, I just begin pressing it from the inside, working my way out, just in case there's an air bubble. But um, after doing quite a few of these, I've noticed that, I, that there are no air bubbles. So the system works pretty well. Then I slip it back into its protective paper sleeve, and there you have it. And I'll do that one more time. I'll take the applicator, carefully peel the label off of the sheet, place it face down on the applicator, being careful to make sure that it lays flat to prevent any air bubbles or warpage. Then I take the DVD, top side, bottom side, top side down. I'm looking for that disc. There it is. Place it on top, press down quickly and firmly, and then press it down with my finger to make sure the edges are well sealed. And there you go. Again, pop it in its protective sleeve. Make it look nice. And there you have it.